Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out a tool that perfectly marriages design tools and no code tools. And it is 100% effortless and has absolutely no learning curve. Yes, you can just pick it up and start using it. There is no complexity to it. Also, some of these unique features will seem as if it's perfect for designers. Now the dashboard itself is extremely simple. I've already created a project or you can just start with a new site. Of course, it asks you for a title and it gives you a free domain name to go with it. So I'm just going to say Puneet Chavla for this one. Also, it has an SSL certificate included, which I think is kind of crazy, but really helpful. Now, once you get into the project, you have three options on the top. There's pages, of course. There is teams, so you can add collaborators or team members to your project so that they can collaborate with you live like they do on Figma. And of course, there are settings. So you can change, say, the website icon or the fab icon. You can change the title. You can change the domain. And also, you can add some custom code to the head. Now, I really like the fact that you'll be able to see all these different pages, the, the home screen, the about screen, contact screen, everything here on one page. So you won't have to navigate from one page to the other and you can see a preview of everything. Now, if I go inside one of these pages, that is where the fun begins. As you guys can see, it seems extremely like a design tool. It's as if Adobe XD and Figma had a baby. There are all these amazing options to add text, rectangle, images, icons, buttons, videos, all that good stuff. And on the right, you have all the options that you'll be able to do to edit this site. Of course, the background color, you can change from here to any color. This is very familiar because this is exactly how you do it in Figma. Now, they also have some layout grids already built for you. Now, I would recommend using this grid as a reference point and then designing your designs. Now, the first really unique feature is the fact that you can add any element. Say, for example, you want to add an image. You can freehand this addition. So you can add it to fit this much width. You can then just randomly edit it. You can then just place it in the center or slightly to the left. You can do exactly what you can do in a design tool and this will get converted into an actual website. It has a built-in plugin which is Unsplash and you can quickly just search for say a unique photo here on Unsplash and it will add it here. And it speaks the language of UI designers instead of web designers. So you can understand all these things that they've written. You understand all these options on top and you also understand all this fill, border and drop shadow instead of calling it something else. And if you add a fill, it'll add the fill over the image instead of replacing it, which I really appreciate. Also, you can enable click action. That means th this image will then turn into a link. Now you can add all these amazing options to that custom link here. You have a page, so it might go to another page external URL, scroll to an element. So that'll be a nice little animation. You have email, phone, overlays, as well as closing overlays. Now on some no code tools, it's very hard to add custom code. So they've made it really simple. You just click on code and it adds this little box. So for example, I can say something like the paragraph tag and it will auto complete it, which is really cool. And I will add something like my name here. And once that is done, once I get out of here, so when I publish the website, the code will appear translated into its output. At the bottom left here, there is this layers icon. So if I click on it, it'll show me all the different layers or components on the screen. However, as you can see, there is a components tab here as well. So yes, this tool allows you to make actual components from say images, buttons, tags, whatever you call. So this web design tool is so cool that it allows you to convert any image, button, whatever into an actual component. All you have to do is right click and say create component. And of course you can find that component then lying around here. And then you can just drag and reuse this component wherever you like. I've, I've always felt that no code tools don't have a component management system, which is that simple and straightforward. Maybe for a complex design system, this might not be the best option. However, this is the quickest one for web designers. Now, another cool feature of this tool is that you can actually add states inside this, just like you add in Figma or XT. Now, for example, I have a button. I'll quickly create a button right here, which says button. How cool. Uh, it actually has two states by default, hover as well as default. Yes, so these animations are already there. So for example, if I turn this button into say a component, 
and whatever the name is. If I copy over this button to someplace else and I make changes to this one button's hover animation. So maybe I can give say like a red color instead of a blue color. And I preview this, it will reflect on all the components as well. So components as well as states are both supported, which I really appreciate as a UI designer, as well as a web designer. Now this, this, now this whole states works with most of the, now this whole states thing works with most of these elements, icons, buttons, videos, etc. Now with some elements, you might see a few more states, things like hover as well as active. Now let's move on to elements like this slider. This slider has a lot of cool things to notice about it. It of course allows you to add unlimited slides. So this could be a PowerPoint presentation or it could just be images like here. You can of course add or subtract or just remove it for the time being from this area and you can choose whether you want to autoplay it or not. Now it also allows you to choose what kind of icons you would want for the arrows, which means that there is full flexibility with even these elements here. Even, even for these little dots at the bottom, you have full flexibility to change these dots to anything you like, any icon that you can possibly think of. Now let's come to another really interesting feature for you to be more productive and also save a lot of time. So if I click on say a empty rectangle like this, on the right, there will be shapes. Yes, you can switch between a rectangle, a circle, as well as a line at any point of time you like. Now, creating forms with this tool is so, so simple. So for example, I have just created, a, I've just dragged in a form from this form option on the left. And as you can see, there are a lot of predefined options, horizontal or vertical. You have classic, so you can switch between classic new style as well as underline. So whichever style fits your forms the best works for you. And next is of course the form elements. So you can change the form elements properties from here at any point of time. And rather than going inside the form and editing each and every element, you can edit the design or the style of these elements at any point of time from here. You can quickly switch between the field style and the button style. So whichever style you are focusing on, you can basically do that. What I really like about this is also that you, if you drag around the form, it will basically adjust it just like you can see in something like auto layout. Last but not the least are the maps, of course. Again, there's a map option right here. And if I drag out this map and just, you know, adjust it according to my page, you of course have different kinds of maps. So you can have a standard map or a directions map, which shows you directions from say your current location to a other location. So you can, you can even set things like whether the person is walking, cycling or riding a car. Of course, you can even set the location from here really quick. I can, you know, change this location to whatever I like and it will show me that only. You can even turn off controls so that it doesn't come in the way. Now, customizability is clearly a big thing for this application because in custom styles, you can actually customize the style of the map. You can quickly launch something called Maps Wizard, which takes you to a cool little page on Google where you can actually edit the style of the maps. Once that is done, you can always bring back the embed code from there to here, and this will add the custom style to this current map that I have here. Now, as you've noticed, this website or this tool basically works on adaptive designs and instead of the whole responsive design thing. For a different screen sizes or a different screen size ranges, you'll have different screens that you'll be designing. So if I click on plus here and say something like mobile portrait, it will add a mobile portrait option right here and you can switch between these two sizes and of course adjust the size and position of all these elements. Also, it has something called auto layout. So if I say auto layout, it auto magically adds a cool looking layout for your mobile. So rather than designing everything from scratch, moving things on their own, you can toggle the auto layout and it immediately cleans up the entire page for a mobile layout or for a desktop, whatever you like. Now, once we've created this website, what if I want to publish? I can quickly just click on public. I can preview before publishing. And once I'm ready, I can click on publish. And that's it. It's that seamless. It is now at punichavla onecitereio You can always check this out. And as you can see, everything works just 
perfectly. Of course, it also has a lot of things like error management for your forms and some cool swift animations for things like your uh, scroll here. And remember these buttons? Look how cool they look. So basically, this tool brings the complexity of Webflow to the simplicity of a design tool. And I'm calling it, this is one of the best web design tools I've seen. I wish I had seen this tool before and I would have developed my website with this tool instead of any other tool out there. Now, there are a few features which are missing, which I would like to see in the future. These guys have re of recently only launched. So I expect a lot of new features and tools to be added inside this web design application. The first one is of course, custom applications. You can of course, customize things like state, etc. However, adding a custom animation or transition would be so, so cool. I think that way it can really compete with the big giants like say Editor X or Webflow and have their USPs as well. I would also like to see design system management inside this tool, a complete DSM inbuilt inside this tool so that we have, you know, better options to uh, collaborate with people and to pass on design systems between teams. Also, this tool would work so well with some amazing plugins that I've done, say on Figma or XD. So I post such videos every Monday and Thursday. So I would love for you guys to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out. And also click the thumbs up button if you like not only this video, but also this tool as well. Go give it a whirl, go give it a try and let me know in the comments how you feel about this tool. Until next time, take care. God bless.